Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, bringing you yet another review of another GoPro accessory. And what accessory am I talking about today? It's the GoPro Monopod. Only for GoPros, as you can tell as it has a little hooky thing onto it. Why am I not using it? We'll talk about that after the freaking commercial. By commercial, I mean the intro. Rolling. Well guys, here we go. The GoPro Monopod complete with remote housing for the remote that doesn't work that you saw in the previous video. Now, this thing has a lot of problems. As you can see, they didn't even line up the GoPro mount with the remote holder. It's off-centered. Right now I'm holding it perfectly straight and you can see the angle on the freaking GoPro mount. So to hold this thing properly, you got to hold the remote off center, which isn't actually that uncomfortable. It would just give somebody with OCD a major problem. Now, the other thing I do not like about this is it's, it's so fucking hard to extend. It's like, what they do? Pressure fit this with a freaking 20 ton press? Like, what's really going on? It's just not... The little bar is fine. It's the big fucker that just won't move. There we go. And it's supposed to go all three out, and it just... It's a horrible design. It's a its a horrible, horrible monopod for your GoPro. Um, I'm going to try and take it apart and modify it and see what I can do. Originally, when I bought this, my plan was was to somehow mount this battery charger for the light that I reviewed on a previous video in the base and that way there I'm pretty sure you can probably unscrew that if not I'm going to just take it apart a couple Phillips head screwdrivers and I should be able to rip this some bitch apart but I wanted to put that in the bottom run the light wire down and hook it in maybe even put a toggle switch build a toggle switch into here and run the USB into it and then out into this to power everything I was also thinking about getting a bigger battery bank with multiple USBs out, one to power the GoPro, one to power the light, and that way there I'd have unlimited power and I'm out vlogging, talking to myself with my monopod. However, the remote control doesn't work, and this thing here is a hour and a half to extend due to its shoddy construction. The other thing I don't like about it is unlike a lot of them that you see, even the GoPro one that you can buy over at the source or Best Buys, I almost said Future Shop, but they're done, done, they're done the way of the dodo. You can unscrew the heads on the one at Best Buy and it reveals a quarter inch jack underneath that you can use for like a regular camcorder's tripod mount. This one here, however, does not have that option. I am uh, really upset with this purchase. I recommend nobody else purchase this. I will put the link in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself, but all in all, just another shoddy shoddy craftsmanship item and the more I play with it the more I frig up the head on it <laughs> like now it's really there's it straight and the remote control is like really off to the side now so yeah all in all not a great product real shoddy design buyer beware and I'm gonna give you a tip for shopping on deal extreme if nobody reviewed the product Chances are the product is a big piece of shit because I left a bad review for the remote control It's been about a week now, and it's still not posted up there So when you leave a bad review on things depending on what the product is and how it's selling They may put it up. They may not when it's an MVP item Which the remote currently is they will not put that review live if it's a bad review because that will reduce the sales and obviously they don't want to be that honest with their with their uh, purchasers their customers so be warned no reviews means the product shit so make sure you always read the reviews before you purchase or otherwise you end up with a piece of crap like this so thanks for watching my review hopefully you enjoyed it this thing's a hack of shit I will put a link in the description and oh, there you have it. So thanks for watching, like, favorite, comment, and until next time guys, peace the freak out.